So I went to Ulta today because it's a chill day and I wanted to chill by sampling some fragrances. First I started out by just smelling perfumes on fragrance cards. The ones that kind of look like this. I sometimes cut up pieces of paper to just smell perfumes from my collection because I just enjoy smelling perfumes. But I went into Ulta and I was just playing with the perfumes by spraying them on the fragrance cards and seeing how they smell. And there were so many that smelled so good and I was just like, oh, I want them all. I wish I could have them all. But then something was like, try them out on your skin. These testers are here. It's okay to spray one spray. So I tried out Gucci Guilty on this hand. When I smelled it in the bottle, I loved it so much. When I smelled it sprayed on a fragrance card, I loved it so much. On me, it smells like a masculine scent. It smells like it should be on a man. If I smelled this on a guy, I would be like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? But on myself, I'm just like, why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing cologne? That's what it smells like. It's been a while since I sprayed it and since I sprayed it and it's dried down a little, it smells a little bit better. I can smell the blackberries more now that it's had some time to kind of settle into my skin. But there's something else that's just taking over and it's so intense and it's so masculine on me. It didn't smell that way on the spray card, but on me, my skin, my body chemistry emphasizes something really strong and masculine in here. On the other hand, on the other hand, literally, I sprayed Gucci Bloom. When I first sprayed it, it smelled so sharp on me, but as it's dried down, I really, really like it. I really like the tuberose in it, but the Gucci Bloom, I may end up getting that because the dry down on me is nice. But it's one of those perfumes that I'm gonna have to spray early in the morning, give it some time to settle, then walk out the door. Next, I tried on this part of my body, I tried Dolce Garden. And the reason I decided to try it is because I was watching one of these perfume channels that I recently subscribed to. Her first name is Larissa. But she tried Dolce Garden and she didn't like it at all. And I was shocked because when I smelled it in Ulta a previous time, I loved it. I was like, it smells so good. It smells so good. It's weird because it's called Dolce Garden, but it doesn't remind me of floral or garden-like perfumes. When I think of the word garden, a perfume I smelled in a store that gives me more of that feeling that I would think of when I think of a perfume that's named garden was the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. That one smelled so rosy but sweet and perfect and springy and it was beautiful like that's what I would think of when I see the word Dolce Garden but Dolce Garden on me this smells tropical almost coconutty I think there is a coconut note in it and warm it doesn't feel like a summertime scent it feels like a fall scent because it smells so warm the more I smell it, the more I'm cool with it, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't go with the name. The name Dolce Garden makes me think of a sweet, floral, perfect for summer. This is perfect for fall. So maybe in the fall I'll revisit this scent, see if I still want it, but I don't want it for now. <laughs> but the one perfume smells good in the bottle, it smells good on me. I smelled on this, I sprayed it on this arm, is the Coach Eau de Parfum. I smelled it before, it smells good. It almost smells like typically good, like nothing surprising or shocking about it. It just smelled like, yeah, that's a good perfume. It can be a part of anybody's collection. That's pretty much it. As I said before, I didn't like the way it smelled on my skin initially, but honestly, as time went on and the top notes began to dissipate a little bit, I just really felt comforted by the way this smelled. It had a cozy fall or wintry scent to it. I really smelled the blackberries and I can't really put my finger on which notes gave me this feeling also but there was some other type of note that gave it a feeling of 
coziness. Um, it still felt a bit masculine, but honestly, it felt more like this could be a unisex perfume. And I really enjoyed it, like I said before, to the point where I am considering buying this several months from now to be a winter or fall scent for me. The Gucci Guilty Absolute Perfume also had a very good staying power. I smelled that perfume all day, all night. I think it only stopped being detectable to my nose by the next morning. So that's the other thing that makes this perfume commendable for me was just the intense lasting power. And honestly, I think it's because of those heavy notes that initially seemed to be too heavy for me. I'm starting to learn that when it comes to perfumes, sometimes that intensity and heaviness that can feel like it's too much is part of what gives a certain perfume its weight, its depth, and its lasting power. Of the perfumes that I sampled on my skin, my favorite turned out to be the Gucci Bloom. I really, 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 really think this is the perfect summer or spring fragrance for me. In the past, Tuberose was one of my favorite scents. I had the Velvet Tuberose perfume from Bath & Body Works. And ever since then, I've just kind of always in the back of my mind wanted another Tuberose scent. This Gucci Bloom is the perfect version of a tuberose perfume for me. All the other notes work with it well, and they work well on my skin together. And I wore it today from my sample collection. I have a few um, sample perfumes, and this perfume was on my mind so much that I decided to go ahead and wear it today. And it was wonderful. It lasted for a long time on me, about eight hours. I can still smell it faintly about nine hours later. So of the four that I wore, again, this one was my favorite. This is the one that I was like, I want this one. I want to buy this one. The biggest thing that stood out to me about Dolce Garden is that it didn't last this long. It still lasted a decent amount of time on my skin. I think about five hours, maybe four and a half hours, but it just didn't last as long as the other scents. And I think it's because it doesn't have as many of those intense heavy bases or intense heavy notes in it and again the other thing about it is that even though it looks like a summer fragrance based on the marketing of this and even the name of it, it doesn't smell like a summer fragrance for me so if i get this i'll get it for being a fall or winter perfume but i don't know if it stands out so much to me that it has to be my go-to winter perfume or my go-to fall perfume. I think it still works as a fall perfume and it works beautifully as a fall perfume. But I don't think it's necessarily the one that will be pressing on my mind as I have to have this one. I already hinted at this in my video review of this or in the clip of the video when I was talking about this. But in the end, I decided that this one was the most basic smelling of the perfumes that I sampled. It smells good, it smells great, but as I've been smelling more and more fragrances and learning more about how complex a fragrance can be or how unique it can be, this one just smells kind of like the typical go-to female perfume to me. I feel like I could have found something like this at Bath & Body Works at some point and I maybe still can find something like this at Bath & Body Works. And for that reason, I don't really see the reason in justifying the price. If I happen to have it in my collection, like say someone gave it to me, I would definitely wear it. And if I saw this on sale somewhere, I would definitely buy it. But it's just not outstanding enough as far as the fragrance itself for me to pay full price for it.